Today we'll be learning about seven quick ways to increase your breast milk flow. So if you're a new mother or you're pregnant or you know someone who's going through this journey, this is the time to grab a paper and a pen to take down these tips to share with them. And of course, throughout our conversation, if you have any questions or contributions, let us know with the hashtag breakfast daily and the WhatsApp line 0550 If you're outside Ghana, the country code is plus two three three. I have been joined by Akosia Konedu Yadom, who's a state registered nutritionist. Good morning. Good morning, Jifa. How are you? I'm fine. I hope I'm shaking better. You, with this you, one. Look, you look fabulous. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you now, so much. Breast flow. How important is it for us to pay attention to bre breast flow? Okay, so um, as a new mom, as a woman who wants to have a child or children, it's very important for you to pay attention to breast flow because... Or uh, breast milk. Or breast, <laughs> or breast milk because um, from last week's presentation, we realized that the first six months of a child's life, every child will need to depend on breast milk from the mother to Just survive. Breast milk. Yes, for, so for the first six months of life, a child needs breast milk. Mm -hmm. That is if there is no reason why mother shouldn't breastfeed. And I stressed, um, I stress on some reasons that will permit um, um, substitution or alternative feeding, which has to do with mother passing on, mother terribly ill, mother having something like HIV, and we wouldn't want to pass it on to the innocent child. So we need to come in with substitution. But if you don't have any reason why you don't have to breastfeed. We stress heavily on exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months. And breastfeeding is supposed to continue even when a child starts eating the family food, still the child is two years. So breast milk is such a very, uh, um, it's, it's an important um, um, part of us. It, it, it took care of me, it took care of you, Jifa. It took care of a lot of us as far as growing up or being um, a baby um, was concerned. And so it's very important. Okay, so before life. we even get into the conversation of the breast milk flow, can you talk to us about the nutritional benefits of the breast milk itself? Okay, so what happens is that it has benefits for the mom, it has benefits for the child. Okay. There is something that has to do, um, that has to clear, as a bilirubin. Okay. It has to clear, that is what causes jaundice. So if you have higher levels of bilirubin, then it makes this child appear this yellowish, or this child has what we call jaundice. This. And so if breastfeeding is initiated early enough, right after delivery, let's say an hour after delivery, if uh, breastfeeding uh, is initiated, it makes sure that this is taken care, the bilirubin is cleared or taken care of, and it prevents a child from the NICU experience, what I call the NICU experience, because if this child is going jaundice or, or getting jaundice, definitely we need to take baby under the light just to make sure that we improve or we help this child to survive. But if you are a mother and you make sure that all these things are done, one, skin to skin, there are some facilities they will do it for you, others they wouldn't do it. So I always encourage moms, especially if you, you deliver and I'm there, I help to make sure skin to skin is done for you. Skin to skin is mother and child bonding and it helps for 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 breast milk to to there is it, it's, it's just feeling so my child is on me and signals really send to the brain telling the brain that baby is in so we just need to make sure milk starts flowing for baby to suckle so and just some, being near your yeah, skin sometimes you put the baby on the mother and the baby is looking for the breast wow yeah sometimes you do it i've seen it i've, I've experienced that you put baby to the uh, you put baby or mom so both naked you put it's their first time. yes their first time few hours after delivery you put baby there and the babies are sometimes looking for the nipple they are looking for the breast wow. so if you do skin to skin for mother and child bonding to happen one you've made it easier as far as the um, signals being transferred to the brain is concerned for the need to release breast yeah. milk for this baby to suckle. After skin to skin, then now you have to do initiation. Mm -hmm. What happens is that sometimes there are people, once they are even at the labor room, breast milk starts flowing. Others too, you need to do expression. Why, how do you do expression? First, you need to make sure you stimulate the breast enough. Okay. 
what do I mean by stimulating of the breast? You call it massaging, but for me as a professional, we call it expression. Okay. You moisturize your hands a bit and then make sure you express. So you hold from the body of the breast. So this is a video I made for us. This is how you do expression. Okay. So you moisturize your hands first. Obviously, it's not my body, so I had to protect myself. And for COVID-19 too, I yeah. needed to be safe. So this is what I, I, I mean by expression. Now, when you do from the body to the areola of the breast, you express or you call it you squeeze i can't say squeeze you express i'm saying squeeze just because i want viewers to really understand what mm -hmm. i mean and now you do it from the areola to the nipple you will see that the pores will open mm -hmm. then if it should open it should tell you that normally when the moms they see it they're like whoa milk i have milk as a matter of fact this one started gushing like it, it was really coming out mm -hmm. so you do this on your own by cleaning your hands with soap and water and then getting shea butter i i i am all for shea butter and nothing else mm -hmm. you moisturize your hands and then apply a few on the breast and just start expressing from the body to the areola of the breast okay. afterwards you put on your bra or brazier and then make sure you have enough rest or sleep i tell you jifa by evening this mother will have enough milk for the child. She had just delivered, um, I think it was her second or third day. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so this is what you can do. And when you realize that their breasts are engorged, where you have pitting and some kind of um, rushes on the breast or it becoming reddish, mm -hmm. then it means that you have milk, but because the dots are not open, sometimes babies suckle and they don't even get it. So you need to do this therapy on your own mm -hmm. to make sure that like flow happens as sunny no for no that's what they say at uh, the facility to make sure breast milk comes to the areola area for baby to properly suckle okay now in case we're struggling to get the breast milk out walk us through the steps to, to get the breast milk really ready to flow because we know that it's not every woman that the, the milk would automatically start flowing so you've gone through some of the steps with us but what are the specific steps we should take if we're, if we're struggling okay so um with the steps it starts by you washing your hands and doing what, what we showed okay. on on the screen so don't, don't put m uh, much pressure on yourself just relax sometimes okay. when you are tensed when you are worried you go there and it's like i delivered my but my baby keeps crying i don't have fresh milk i tell them our bodies are different for some people they start making milk even on the third day ah. for some people they deliver and that day breast milk is flowing so, so it's normal it's as normal for you baby can go 72 hours without breast milk and baby will be fine okay. if after seven to two hours that's three days mm -hmm. baby is not getting milk then we may it's need to step in yeah. with an, a substitution but if you should do this or make sure you ask for it right after delivery okay. wherever you deliver tell them you want skin to skin to be done for you okay. and two after skin to skin tell them please i want to put my baby to the breast okay. sometimes you putting the baby to the breast won't even give baby milk but once baby has has touched the breast it's a god thing okay that i don't know how to explain that yeah. it's 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 a it's a natural thing once baby holds the breast and keep holding the breast signals will be sent to the brain that okay. the owner is in so please let us begin to make milk so i can walk you through se that seven quickest way to make sure you have um enough um, breast breast milk. milk. So I've spoken extensively about the skin to skin. That yes. is mother and baby bonding. Second is to keep your body constantly hydrated. Okay. So in a day we need eight um, glasses of water. Okay. So one glass is equivalent to eight ounce. So if you are getting eight by eight, that is 64 ounce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 64 ounce you can it's equivalent to four of the sachet waters we have so 500 ml four of that okay. should be okay for the day but for a new mom or a mom breastfeeding you need an extra 34 um, ounces of water so you can add two of the sachet waters. so if for me jifa we are not mothers we are taking four of the sachet waters uh -huh. you as a mom you should add two more to it that will make up for the extra 34 so Averagely, you need 100 ounces of water in a day, and that 
I said one glass is eight ounce. So mm -hmm. if you are taking four glasses, it should make up for the day. Yeah. You should add an extra two to it. If it's the sachet water, obviously a glass is smaller than the sachet bag. So yeah. I've made it easier because most of us are, new, are used to the that sachet, sachet yeah. water. So four of that for me and you. We get and some also from the food we eat. There's a reason why our old folks, when they come and they are taking care of you, they want you to be taking a lot, a lot of, of soup. Okay. Just to make sure that you have enough fluids in your system. It helps also to make sure that you are making a lot of milk. But to start with, breast milk production has nothing to do with what you are eating. It's a thing of the mind. Ah. Once you are okay psychologically, that's why I said that don't stress yourself up. Don't be worried. Stop thinking about the fact that I delivered and I, I, uh, the, the, the person next to me is busily making milk. Why am I not making milk? Sometimes you go and express and they are like, wow, I have all this in my breast. The following day, mothers are spoiling their beds. They are making a lot of milk. I express somebody's milk. The first time, Jifa, I had 10 mil. And the, the, the husband kept thanking me, God bless you, God bless you. The following day, she expressed 60 mil on her oh, own. Wow. The following day, the third day, she did 160 ml without me being wow. there. So once you, you, you open the dots up, you keep expressing, it makes things really uh, easy. There is somebody even here in the city who is currently making a lot of milk, but it, the, the narrative was different okay. before we spoke extensively so about it. So the first step is to breathe in, so, don't freak yes, out. Yes, don't freak out. Just don't make sure you're not stressed relax okay. whoever is is making you tense report the person to the police <laughs> i always tell them and your husbands are like please report me from the reason so the second point is keep the body constantly hydrated and i've explained extensively what you need 62 yeah. ounce equivalent to about four sachet waters so there's add a lot two, of water coming add out two more it's it's no function it's yeah. water breast yeah. milk is basically water yes and then take a warm shower Okay. The warm shower will also help as far as people who have engorged breasts okay. are concerned. Engorged breasts, sometimes you see pitting, mm -hmm. tiny, tiny, tiny holes. Just like when an ant bites you, what happens to your skin? You have it on the breast. Yeah. When you see something like that, your breasts are hard, harder than they should be. Mm -hmm. they, they look full, but you can't just bring milk out. You should know that their breasts, your breasts are engorged. Mm -hmm. What you need is a clean baby towel or small towel with warm water. Or you can have a warm shower. After having a warm shower, now you get a clean towel with hot water. Just apply a little bit of the shea butter on the breast and make sure you touch those parts or the, the engorged part with the towel, the hot towel, just to give you some comfort whilst you try to also express. If you are able to do this, sometimes they express and they get a lot of breast milk. So you can do that okay, so also. I, I, yeah, we want our viewers to at least start with the first few steps that we've gone through. Then we'll continue with the rest of the steps okay. because even this alone is is is, is enough. So <laughs> we'll, we'll end it here. Thank you so much for being with us, Akosia Kunedu Yad, I'm a state registered nutritionist, and thank you at home for staying. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7:30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on city tv